we just so you say it was good and go. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to shove you out the door if you don't have to, but well, I'm going to get going again. Uh, no, and they need to get out of the way if you've seen it. Everybody else, guys, y'all need to go that way. So Come on, baby. Get out of the way, please, so that everybody can see. No, you know, our, our lesson plans today are this, so when we get that out. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I see them? No, I'm scared. Yeah. They're tiny, 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 aren't they? What a treat. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much. All right. So guys. I'm going to put this back up, guys. I'm going to put it back up here so the mama birds can go back to their babies. Oh, good, good question, guys. Hey, I've got two more questions. These are some good questions. You see the little fake decoy birds on the top? Yes. You see those? Those are up there for a reason. A lot of the predator birds are large predator birds. Name me a large predator bird. Eagle, hawk, excellent. Sharp shin hawks, a lot of, I've got a lot of a, a red shouldered hawks out here. They actually, it, the, the uh, purple martin birds are actually in their uh, food chain. So what am I saying if they're in their food chain? They, 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 eat, them. they eat them. They eat them. So do you see this little uh, thing on the top here, these little things hanging down? Yeah. That helps keep the predator birds out. If you can imagine, if I am a big, huge predator bird, and I'm going to go try to get a baby bird out of that nest, what are those two pieces of wire going to do for me? It's going to stop them, isn't it? Well, it could possibly, but I think it basically stops them. Let me, let me so show you how it works. So I'm going to put your hands up like this. Okay, you're going to put your hands up like this? Now play like I am a big predator bird coming after. I want to get inside that nest. You ready? You're going to be my, you're going to be it. You ready? I can't get in. See how that happens? Those keep, the wings are out, so it keeps them and blocks them out of there, okay? So that's a, that's called an owl guard or a predator guard. Now these are brand new. I just got these. And you know what? The the holes on that's so small. I haven't had any predators uh, full with them so far, but they're so small I can't even put guards on them anyway. But, oh, there's a mama. She's going back to check her baby. Let's back up a little bit so they know that it's okay to come back and see, get to see their babies. They're okay. Um, my friends. We owe, we owe our friends that let us get to see the Purple Martin Colony a huge, huge thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also. So watch them. They're going to come back in. I love watching them soar back in. Yeah. Okay. So uh, real quick, uh, am I a Purple Martin? No. Flap, flap, flap. Say hello. Flap behind you. I'm a Purple Martin, and I am going to migrate back to Brazil. Brazil. Awesome. The main color of my feathers, if I am a full-grown male, is purple. Awesome. And guys, it's really sort of cool is that when they lay their eggs, they lay them in clutches of four to eight. I've actually had one lay eight one time, but they've been averaging six and seven right now. Eggs in each one. Oh, good question. Someone just asked me, why are there numbers on there? Guys, what did I just tell you I had to do once a week? I had to check the nest, right? And my job when I check the nest is to count how many eggs and babies are in there. So to keep up with that, I put a number on it. So I say number five has six eggs. Number three has four eggs. That's how I keep up with it. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. No, they don't read the numbers. They just know by smell. But that was sort of funny. I like that. I want to know if the numbers, if they knew their numbers. I'm in apartment number five. <laughs> okay. Tell Miss Kiesler thank you very much for coming out. Thank you. And tell Mr. Moeller thank you for coming out. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's You're welcome. do this real quick. Come over here real quick. Everybody up front, come over here. So we're going to do one, two, three, and on three we're going to say we love Purple Martins. Okay? Can we do that? Here, let's, let's squeak down in front so we, our friends in the front can see us. Ready? On three, we're going to say we love Purple Martins. Ready? One, two, three. We, we love Purple Martins! Woo! All right. How's that? All right, guys. Head on. Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, our organization, which she's a member of for many yes. years, and well, at least as long as I've had baby birds, <laughs> and uh, we work very hard to be to get a purple mutton U.S. postal stamp. Now it finally came out last year. It's on an envelope, and it's a purple mutton sitting in front, and a purple mutton in the back. 
And so you can go, your parents can go to the post office, it's an, on an envelope. It's a first class forever stamp and it, it uh, features the Purple Martins. And so when you have a special letter writing to your grandma or grandpa or so, go to the post office and buy one of those envelopes and put your little note in there and say, we had a Purple Martin program today. And so you can actually buy a stamped envelope. Do you understand, guys? Yes. So you can go to the post office yes. and instead of buying that a little stamp that you know have another picture on it, you can go up and say, "I would like purple Martin stamps." Or in this case, they're on the envelope. Uh, on, you know, and every, on the envelope. everything that we do is going to go back to helping the purple Martins, okay? Yes. And helping with all the work that they're doing with them. Because I have to tell you, I did not know much about them today, but they are now my new favorite bird. Because if they eat mosquitoes, I'm down. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. I'm down. You love you yeah, uh, yeah, I'm down. I love it. Um, and guys, please, 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 um, Miss Hollis, we need to tell her thank you, guys. I told you earlier that this is her last year. So what a great treat to get to come in and see this because next year when you come, you may be dealing with a completely different lady and she may not be as bird nuts about all of this because every year I've come, she takes me out and sees the birds and I've enjoyed it every time. So you make sure to tell Miss Hollis thank you so much and that we're going to miss her too. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, you take your lap around and then we're going to meet right over here.